Ah, oh, Phelps. I was just discussing with Finbar here how well you were doing. Have a seat. Yeah, my real name. And you can just forget all about it. You boys have a new case. A poor Hispanic woman murdered near City Hall and left lying naked in an alleyway. Another naked woman, sir? Yes. We seem to have had quite a run of them since the Dahlia fiends first struck. Phelps is politely trying to hint that he thinks the Mendes case is hokey. Well, young Phelps, you win some and you lose some in police work. You're happy with the Mueller case, sir? Over the moon, boys! The DA couldn't be more pleased with the evidence, the witness, and the lack of an alibi. Now, get out there and catch me another sinner. I don't know if that's Billie Holiday or Ella Fitzgerald, but that sounds wonderful. All right, let's get to it. Hell yeah. You have the address? The alley off the lease between Los Angeles and Alameda. You're kidding. The next one will be opposite Central Station. Count yourself lucky, Phelps. Most guys would kill to land a case so close to their desk. Yeah. It means they can pop in to hit the office supply of hooch whenever they need it. You know, that ain't a bad idea. That is not a bad idea at all, though. Whoa. All units in the vicinity in the enemy center run. unit. The 211 has shots fired 410 South Flower Street. Units that can handle code 3 identify it. Copy that. Going over there. Over and out. What is going on, everybody? Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Deacon, and welcome back to Let's Play L.A. Noir. Now, before we commence this episode, oh, almost crashed. Do not forget to hope smash that like button. Subscribe to my channel. Share this with your boys and your families. Almost crashed there, too. Follow me on Instagram. Smash that bell notification button and enjoy the show. Yep, I'm right here. I'm right here. What's going on? What's going on? Everyone, clear the stage. Tables are turned now, haven't they, boys? Hey, look, old man, we're sorry. Just quit shooting. The hell I will. I'm getting pretty tired of losing my weekly take to you punks. Hey, you. Son of a God damn it, they went down there. I got him. Yeah, with your thirty dollars suit. Who gives a damn as to how much? Oh shit! Son of a! You understand? I almost got killed there. This is car 11K. Shots fired at South Flower Street, Scott's Garage. It's code four here, but suspect is down. I need an ambulance and coroner. 11K, Roger, on the ambulance and coroner. All units, 11K reports code four on the shooting at 410 South Flower Street, Scott's Garage, code four. Oh, it's the quality break that's as refreshing as it is delicious. The king of refreshment for that anytime first. Ow, motherfucker, what is wrong with you? Oh! 
Jesus, Phelps! Son of a bitch! Oh, yeah, yeah, I'm gonna have to get him. Fuck me. Alright. God damn! And just so you know, th that was not the first time this happened. You gotta be kidding me. You gotta be kidding me. Alrighty. We're coming over there. Out of the way. This officer needs help. Thank you, America, seventh and all of officer needs help. Thank you, America, seventh and all of the Hell two yeah, drifted. Yeah. Unit to handle code three identify. Copy. Car eleven K responding. Go ahead. Oh bank job, look at this. Now this is more like it. What's the situation? Half a dozen shooters, sir. Cold blooded sons of bitches. Real professionals. What do you mean? Witnesses say they bounced in, aced the guards, and went straight downstairs. Christ knows who they're working for, but whatever's in that vault, they want it bad. Okay, let's get started. Let's go. Take the wrong bank to Move it inside. All right, that's it. Hold on. What? Let me get that. Son of a bitch! Stay down! Woo! How about that, son? Yeah, no. Oh no, it's all clear. All right, so we gotta go down there. They blocked the goddamn stairs. Detective, take the elevator. Copy. All right. I'll wait here. Go. Don't give them a chance to regroup. You got Wish it. Wish me luck. Wrong floor. Ah! Buddies upstairs are dead. That leaves you, pal. Tell the tale. That's it. That's all of them. Hell yeah, son. Car 11K. Shots fired, suspects are down. We're code four here, but I need an ambulance at Bank of America. Seventh and Olive. Notify coroner and detective headquarters. Roger on your ambulance, 11K. All units, code four on the 211 at Bank of America, code four. Okay, now. Natural movements are your smile. That's what I call a job well done. Toothpaste for power. Don't delay. Ask the buckets for a demo game today. KTI, a member of the American Century Broadcasting System. Ah, motherfucker! Give me a break! Gosh, Mom, pancakes. That's not awful good. Yes, fresh pancakes made with no water drop. The car makes it so good. No, no. You drive. And those tender, delicious pancakes. You drive. You know the way. You can drive. 
satisfying good eating and make your mouth water, use mo Detectives, they're ready to start the show. I'll take you through. Okay. Oh, for Christ's sake. Brothers, Picker. Cause of death is pretty apparent. We thought we'd best wait for you when you're ready. Alrighty. Kiss the blood, Kiss BD. Kiss the blood, BD. Oh, God. The lacerations on the neck would indicate a great deal of force. Why the library card? Did he want us to find it? I don't know. Lacerations on the arm. A ring. Another oh. wedding ring torn from the finger. No skin under the fingernails. As usual, I'm gonna have to censor a portion of this. The evidence in the Mueller case was solid. I'm not convinced about Mendez. The best way to get away with murder is to pin it on somebody else. I'll bet a month's salary this is a copycat. Strangled, battered, naked. Yeah, 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 we know the M.O. So does every jerk who kills his wife and girlfriend looking for a way out. I've spoken to Brown. He still believes the Dahlia perp has medical experience. Four women, all murdered, all put on display, all with messages. Mueller had no message. Look, Phelps, this is getting us nowhere. Anything for us to go on, Mel? Head injuries from contact with road bruising from a small man's shoe, further blunt force trauma to the occipital region at the base of the skull. Could have been fatal, but clear signs of strangulation would seem to rule it out. Lipstick appears to be a similar color to the other cases. I'll see if I can nail down a brand. Okay. By the way. Oh no, that's the coroner's bag, is it? What about that? If she took a blow to the head like the others, she was probably unconscious when strangled. Nope. Irrelevant. Hey. May as well follow the trail. Yeah. The library card. Yeah. Trail ends here. What the? Oh, come on. Hey. Not that. What about the other? Proximity to the scene, plus the bloodstains. No way is this coincidence. On it goes. Hey, what was that? We kept the area pristine for you boys. Let's check it out. up like bait on a hook. You think he's trying to lead us somewhere? I oh, think he I is. All that crazy son of a bitch. That's got to be a code or a cipher. 253. What the fuck? Why don't you take that with you? Okay. Where are you 
taking us. I really don't like where this is going. Yeah, get out of here. This is a fucking crime scene. No people, no birds allowed. Get the fuck out. Where is all of this meant to be taking us? Antonio Maldonado. Clearly wants us to find these things. He's left them for us. Check the hole. Here you go, Phil. You got a new M.O. Told you. Or he might just be getting more confident. Jesus Christ Almighty. Hey. Whoa, 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 whoa. Looks as though the killer was decorating with this. Okay, now we're talking. What do we have? Bitch wants her identified. Mrs. Antonia Maldonado. Yep. 712 North Hill Street downtown. I would have forensics come on in and look that up. Whoa. That was it? Give me a moment. Yeah. Alrighty, I guess that's it. Okay, you know the way. Hey, whoa, 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 whoa. Can you drive to this one? Fine. Where are we headed? 712 North Hill Street. It was Mrs. Maldonado, right? That's affirmative. All right, so then there's a husband we should be looking for. Get him. We've closed the case. Ah, uh, Rusty's razor, of course. I don't want to question your tried and tested techniques, Detective Galloway. But doesn't the DA require sound casework before he'll close the book? Not if he's got a confession. And, you know, there's ways of getting it. I'm sure. LAPD, ma'am. Detective Phelps and Galloway. Does Mrs. Maldonado live here? Yes, she does. I'm Mrs. Barbara Lapente, the owner of this boarding house. Is there a problem? I'm afraid so, ma'am. Do you mind if we come in? Is there somewhere we can discuss this? Of course. Follow me through to the parlor. Wipe your feet as you come in, detectives. It's this way. 
Okay. Mrs. Maldonado was found dead this morning. Dead? Oh, no. She can't be. I'm afraid she was murdered, ma'am. We need to take a look at her things. I can't believe it. A person seems so alive, and then they're gone. Antonia's room is upstairs, last door on the left. Thank you. We'll be back shortly. Uh, excuse us a moment, ma'am. Okay. What are we waiting for? Huh? No, whoa. Hey, Cole. Yeah. Get moving. Last door on the left. Right here. What was this? Would you look at that? Someone's turned the place over. I don't know if it was the the owner. Okay, we have an address. Well, what does it say? Petition. Husband, Angel Christopher Maldonado, residing at this and this address. Served with the, with the official papers and is on notice to appear at the Central District Court on the above date. That doesn't sound good. Okay. Uh oh. A smashed window explains why the place looks tossed. You know how I feel about windows, Phelps. What's this? Charm bracelet. The charm bracelet wasn't among the crime scene evidence. talk to her. Uh, okay, that's all the clues. Okay. Oh, the game is guiding me. Okay, let's get to it. We have some questions, ma'am, if you're up to it. Yes, detective. I'll do my best. Do you have any idea who might have wanted to hurt Mrs. Maldonado? That rat of her husband, Angel. She was serving him divorce papers. If I killed every wife to serve me papers, I'd be a mass murderer. Are you being flippant, young man? No, ma'am. Okay, it, it sounds believable. What can you tell us about Angel Maldonado? She married him when she was 17. He was cruel to her, very cruel. She was a good girl. Little on the religious side, but a good girl. What time did Antonia go out yesterday? She left around nine. Do you know where she went? No, I, I have no idea. She was a good girl, but she didn't confide in me. Uh, are you sure? A nosy old hag like you knows everything about the people who live under her roof. Where did she go? I think she went to a bar. She's been drinking quite a lot lately. This bar have a name? El Dorado Bar. It's a Latino place on North Los Angeles Street. That's only a couple of blocks from where we found the body. You've had a break-in? No. That can't be true. I'm sorry, madam, but... You're being economical with the truth, Mrs. Lepenti. What do you have to hide? I have no idea what you are talking about. Oh, baby, come on. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. So Antonia lost her keys and used an iron bar to jimmy the back window? I heard a noise in the early hours of the morning. I thought it might be a raccoon at the milk bottles. It'd be very bad for business if this news got out. I have a reputation to protect. 
I understand that, madam, but somebody was murdered, and I want to get to the bottom of it, please. Antonia and her husband were estranged? Yes. She moved here after she separated from her husband two months ago. But Antonia still wore a wedding ring? She wore the wedding ring and a necklace. She always wore a religious necklace. That's about all of her jewelry. That's about all about the jewelry, huh? Uh. Shit. That's about all about the jewel. Hold on a minute. The charm. Shit. What about her bracelet? I don't know anything about a bracelet. Are you sure about that? Give me a minute. Give me a minute. I don't think I should have used that intuition point. In her wedding photo, she's displaying a charm bracelet. That thing? She never wore it. He gave it to her. She always kept it in that wooden jewelry box. Okay. Thanks, ma'am. You've been very helpful. Pay a call to that husband of hers. Lock him up and throw away the key. You got it. You got it. We can either front Angel, seeing as the thing is pointing to the end. Alrighty. Yeah, let's try that. Let's try out the El Dorado bar first. All right, come on in. We have a mission to achieve. I thought I was coming on strong with the XY. Sometimes you have to be firm to get the information you need. God damn it, ain't that? You don't think it's strange that all these murders are happening to girls who've been out drinking? No, no. A broad drinks, she gets a bit tight, she starts mouthing off. This leads to that, and she ends up in an alley. It's a sad story, but this town's seen it play out a thousand times. Why don't you want to see a connection here? Because there are perfectly good real-life suspects for every one of these murders. They don't need to go looking for the monster under the bed. Is there anything to the divorce angle? I've been through three. No big deal. After a while, But Angel, he's a young Latino man. Yes, he is. What can I get you? LAPD. Detectives Phelps and Galloway. Diego Aguilar. How can I help? You worked the bar last night? Yeah, me and a temp guy from the agency. Did you have a woman in here last night, 21 years old, Hispanic, drinking heavily? We have a lot of ladies like that in here. But yeah, I know who you mean. Antonia Maldonado. Oh, what did she do? She was murdered last night. Oh, shit. Do you know her well? Was she a regular? Hell no. She was good and tight last night, complaining about her old man. It's a story you get used to working in a bar. She was so hammered last night, she left a letter on the bar. I'll show you. Diego Aguilar. Okay. Divorce papers. Divorce papers? Did you open them? No need to. She was shouting about it and waving the letter around. Said she was going to show him. This is one interesting individual, I must say. Christ. Okay. Can you remember what jewelry she was wearing? She had a necklace. Some kind of religious thing, I think. The temp guy would have more of an idea. She took the beer he served her and cried into it all night. What time did she leave? Can't say for sure. Are you sure? I need you to try. Where did she go? Give me something or the LAPD will start getting interested in this place. Take it easy. She went to the cab, okay? And my phone was out of order. The closest one I knew was at the fruit market across the street, so I suggested she try there. She seemed reluctant. Okay. Did Antonia say where she was going when she left? She said she was going to serve the papers on the husband. 
said that would take the smile off his face. If you ask me, she was scared, and the drink was for Dutch courage. Wow. She attract any interest? An extremely drunk young woman? What do you think? She managed to scare them off, though. Okay. Thanks. You've been a big help. No problem. Hey, get the guy, will you? We'll do our best. One last question. What size shoe do you take, Mr. Aguilar? A broad nine. I have white feet. He drove me up to Mojave. <laughs> Just picked for... Oh, yep. Oh, fine, gentlemen. Yes, I understand, I understand. Oh, you didn't need to do that. But to hell with it. It's done. Shut. Great. We'll need to come back later, Phelps. Maybe somebody here saw Antonia the night she died. Really? Okay. Alrighty, then let's go... Um, let's go straight back to the car, okay? Yep, yep, I understand. Okay, um... Who is that? How about we drop in on the husband instead? Yeah. See if your gut is right. I'll take a bar over a husband every day of the week. Copy. Woo! That's not a bad place, I'll say that. What now? No need to be gentle with a prime suspect. Kick down the fucking 304. door. 304. 304. Alright, let's go. Oh my god, 304. I can't believe us sit. If you were to take a calculator and type in the numbers 304 is and turn it upside down, what it means is it's a hoe. And as we all know, we can't turn a hoe into a housewife. <laughs> Phelps, this could turn ugly. Forget about knocking. Let's take our boy by surprise. You got it. Hey, what the fuck? LAPD, motherfucker, you're under arrest. What the fuck? I don't want no trouble with me. Ah! I got nothing to say to you. Damn. They got some decent shots in there. Cuff these sons of bitches, Phelps. LAPD, you two are under arrest. Call for some backup, Finbar. Galloway, badge number 564. I need a prowl car at the apartment building 330 North Hill Street. Two suspects need transporting to Central. Your wife has been murdered, Angel. Antonia? Oh, God, no! Where were you last night, Angel? I was here with my brother the whole night, goddammit! You think I killed my own wife? Okay, let's get to the bottom of it, okay? We should get the whole place of going over, and talk to the neighbors. Good idea. Phelps, I don't care that you just got smacked in the head. You don't call me Finbar. <laughs> I don't think so. Hey, what's that? Nothing? Okay. What? Oh, excuse me.
just picked Fruit Market. We were there. I wonder if Angel gets all his groceries from this place. Oh. VSOP, very special old pail. What the fuck does the bottle say? I don't know if that's cognac or some sh some brandy. I don't know, but that looks good. <laughs> Alrighty. Aha. The El Dorado. We've already Must been be there. a family favorite. Uh, this will take some explaining. Maybe one of the neighbors took notice of Angel's movement. Yeah. Got no alibi. He's toast. Hey, um. No? Okay. Hold up, hold up. Ah. No good. Nobody here. What about the other one? What do you want? LAPD. We're making some inquiries. Make it quick. I worked nights. So you weren't home last night? No. I was at work. You know nothing about Mrs. Maldonado fighting with her husband? Those two? They're always screaming the place down. Thanks. Sorry about that. I'm playing with my kids. <clears throat> LAPD, were you here last night? Yeah. My uh, wife and I are separated, and uh, I had the kids last night. Wow. I put them to bed early and went to bed myself. Oh, what? <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> what a role model. You could have shot him square in the face. <laughs> Hello. LAPD, ma'am. Did you hear a disturbance last night? Yes. Yes, I did. Mrs. Maldonado lit out of here and her husband ran out after her. You saw this, Miss... Aranda. I had the door open a crack. Did you see Mr. Maldonado come back inside after he ran out? No. I didn't. Thanks. We'll be in touch. Wow, okay, that I could help out. I thinking you were going to call that one a nosy old hag too, Phelps. Well, that's I'm executing restraint right now, Finbar. <laughs> Don't call him Finbar. <laughs> that's disgusting. You drive. Didn't you ever I need to go over the case in? notes. Well, where exactly are we going? What the hell? Why are we going back there? Hold on. What was this? Okay. Fuck it. Car 11 King. Car 11 King. Come in. Shit. That's a street crime. And car 11 K. Car 11 King. Come in. Fuck car 11 K. Car 11 King. Come in. KTPL. Love it, King. Over. 60. 11K, Captain Donnelly and Detective Sergeant Finnis Brown urgently request your presence at Central. A new letter has been found. 11K, en route. The captain is waiting for you downstairs with anchor. Downstairs. That ain't right. What do you think? If the brass are handling Dahlia Evans, they'll have it locked up in the tech services duct. Let's go. Technical services, man. I see my bust in there. Find me, goddamn. In there. Boys, come on in. Phelps, have you met Finnis Brown? Pleased to meet you, sir. This information is confidential and doesn't leave this room. The new letter was left in the back seat of a cab. The driver thinks it was put through the window and not left by a customer. 
We're checking all the spares back 24 hours regardless. Good. Like the previous letters, it's been assembled from headlines and type from the Times and Examiner, then glued to an envelope. What is the other note? This one? That's also new. A poem, hand-typed. Do you mind if I take a look? Go ahead. We've been over both documents pretty carefully. They've been wiped with gasoline, so there's no chance of prints. Wow. That's the message from the Celine Henry case. Yeah. How about this one? Keep upon thy soul by virtue of this curse. All deeds, then be thou damned, beholding good, both infinite as is the universe, and thou and thy self torturing solitude, an awful image of calm power. Though now thou sittest, let the hour come when thou must appear to be that which thou art internally. And after many a false and fruitless crime, scorn track thy lagging fall through boundless space. That's why we called you in. You think it's original? Not unless he's a genius. You like this nut job's poem? No, I like Shelley. It was written at least 100 years ago. Shelley. Sure, I knew that. You see, Finnis? I told you this lad was a bright boy. Sure, but what has it got to do with the case? Prometheus Unbound. Prometheus was a titan, a superhuman character who defied the gods to bring fire to humanity. The Dahlia guy believes he's Superman. Your guess is as good as mine. One thing for sure is that he's educated. What about the link to the Henry case? He could have got the wording from the papers. As you said, he is fiendishly clever and takes pleasure in taunting us. What's happening with the Maldonado case? We had the husband in custody. We haven't interviewed him yet. Went upstairs then, lads, and see if we can break him. Yes, sir. Let's do it. Yeah, Hell yeah. 45. I want to stop him with one round. Oh, yeah. Improved your attitude, Angel? What do you want me to say? I was with Antonia the night she died, but she left the apartment, and that was the last time I saw her. Okay, okay, okay. Let's start over. So your wife paid you a visit last night. What time was that? Late, around midnight, maybe. She didn't stay long. Oh, come on. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. She didn't stay that long, you say, huh? Divorce proceedings? No. You're lying, Angel. You went after her. I think you killed her. You're out of your mind. My brother will tell you I was at home. Hold on. We have a witness who confirms that you are arguing, that your wife ran out, that you followed her, and didn't come back. I know this looks bad, but it's not true. We argued, all right, but she went out, and I went out after her, and she jumped in a car on the corner. There was a car waiting for her? Can you describe the driver? Not the driver. It was too dark. But the car... It was a brown Ford coupe. You and your wife weren't getting along. She was divorcing you. Is that why you killed her? We fought, yeah, but we weren't getting a divorce. Oh, come on. I don't believe you, Angel. She'd been granted a decree nice side. She pushed you too far, and you lashed out. I told you. I wouldn't accept a divorce. Oh, Christ. The judge had set a date. You were going to be paraded in front of the whole city for your cruelty to her, Angel. Antonia. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> she came in drunk, out of her mind. She doesn't normally drink. She was looking around in her bag. Said she wanted to serve me papers. Me, her own husband. So I slapped her down. She ran out. That's the truth. 
What size shoe do you wear, Angel? Size eight. What difference does that make? Ah, that makes a whole big difference because that's what we found in the previous cases. Size eight. When we found your wife, her jewelry had been removed. Was she wearing her religious medallion last night? Sure. She always wore that. What about the charm bracelet? Was she wearing that? You know about that? She never wore it. She didn't like the message. She kept it locked up in that box of hers. Your wife has been brutally murdered. So how do you explain your shirt being covered in blood? You found that? I cut myself shaving. With that much blood on the shirt, I doubt it. Angel, I'm not going to waste any more time on this. Give me something or I'm going to have you charged. My brother, Ippolito, he said some bad things about Antonia last night. So I had to sock him one. We got into it. Keep talking. She said she came from the El Dorado bar. And? It's not one of my places. We used to buy fruit at the market down the street. But the creep there was always running his eyes all over my wife. What's the name of this fruit market? Just picked fruit. Ord Street downtown. One last question, Angel. Do the words kiss the blood mean anything to you? No. Sounds sick to me. You're not in the clear by any means, Angel. You're going back into a cell. You should think about whether you have anything else you need to share with us. Okay. Alrighty, alrighty. Why the hell would I want to go there? Fuck, hold on. Just picks through. All right, I'll drive there. Another letter? I thought the letter was from a nut. These letters, Brown and Hanson believe they are genuine. From him. Now we sent another. I really hate this fuck. This black Dahlia guy. You seen the body? Fucking case just knocked away. Every prom queen from every fucking hick town in America turns up here. Where do they end up? Gut fucking side. What's your read on Maldonado? I still like him for it. Seriously, that line about the guy. I understand you like him for it, but it doesn't change a damn thing. Okay. Now it's open. And he just he just doesn't even notice us. Oh god. Are you working Friday night? We should go out afterwards. Let's play horse. I'll be the front end and you can be yourself. Uh, excuse me, madam, I don't know what you mean by that. Hold on a minute. Hold on. No. Was a brown Ford coupe. Okay. All right. LAPD, Detective Phelps and Galloway. Clem Feeney, what can I do for you? Did you happen to see a young woman last night? 21 years old, Hispanic? Sure, she came by last night. Why do you ask? Uh, give me a minute. She was wearing a necklace? I didn't notice. You weren't paying attention, Feeney? Hey. You're getting the wrong idea. Oh, come on. Exactly how much fruit do you sell here after midnight, Clem? Uh, look, not much. I sell the odd bottle on the side to the after hours crowd. Look, I don't want any trouble. I'm just trying to make a buck. Okay, okay. The young lady arrived around midnight? Yeah, something like that. Used the phone for a cab and then left. Hold on. No, 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 no. Uh, 
Okay, hold up. Hold up. Yeah, that sounds about right. You already knew Mrs. Maldonado, didn't you, Clem? Sure, I met her before. And she seemed like a nice lady. Her husband went apeshit one day when he caught me talking to her. She hadn't been back until last night. Where did she go from here? She wanted a cab, but I couldn't get her one. I was about to offer to drive her, but a car pulled up and she got into that. Now that sounds truthful to me. Can you describe the car? Brown Ford Coupe, I think. She seemed to know the guy. Okay. Do you mind if we look around? Why would you want to do that? Because we say so. I guess you can. <laughs> Don't you have to get a court order or something? I have rights. Clem? Shh. <laughs> no wonder he stays open late at night. People have to get their vitamins. Check through this stuff before we get back out there. So what are we hiding in here? This thing needs a combination. Wait a minute. Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Two, five, three. Two, five, three. No. Damn it. Ah. There you go. Oh! Ephesians chapter 5, verse 22. This? That's it. Stay there, son. Hey. The fuck is this doing here? I cut someone who was already dead. You motherfucker! It's a typical power thing. Once the stiff is dead, the creep usually feels they can do whatever they like. Listen. Must have seen it during the war. Let's get this guy right now. This fruit stall punk gets about ten seconds to explain before I pull his fucking arms off. As soon as I saw the blade, I was like, yep. Hold on. God damn it, get after him, Cole. I'm trying. I'll try to shoot out his tires. Wish me luck. You got it. Get out of the way. Should have grabbed him when we had the chance. Bro. Yeah, that's when exactly we chance, what we're we doing. Our guy. Don't go to sleep on me. Get me back in close. You got it. Strange that he'd leave a trail of blood right back to his own market. Maybe he wanted to be caught. A lot of them do. Hit him, Cole. Scott, him out. Damn. I'll try to shoot out his tires. Out of the way. It's almost too perfect, isn't it? There's no such thing as too perfect. Shoot the Get damn tire, it. damn it. Off the road. There you go. Oh, shit. Sick man, Clem. You need help. Outstanding job on this case, gentlemen. The poor woman can now rest in peace. I'll pay the fee in the personal visit myself and remind them the crime in this city does not go unpunished. When they finish with him at the receiving hospital, we'll have him up before the grand jury. 
I have a meeting this afternoon with the mayor, lads. I'll be sure to mention your names. Now, on your way. <laughs> All righty, ladies and gentlemen. That concludes this episode of L.A. Noir. So thank you very much for watching. Do not forget to hoax smash that like button. Subscribe to my channel. Share this with your boys and your families. Follow me on Instagram. Smash that bell notification button. And every single one of you have a wonderful and blessed evening. Peace out.